Hello everyone, Akshay here. Today we will do the task 1 in another language that is the second popular language known as FPD, Functional Block Diagram. So we have already done the task 1 in Ladder Diagram. Let's do it in Functional Block Diagram and even establish an analogy between the two language. So without any delay, let's get started. Click on Section, New Section, name it as Task 1. FPD and the language you can choose it FPD and say apply and close this window double click it and go into the program editor window so I will go into the FFP assistance and type or enter I have created a or gate to zoom in you can go up in here and zoom so you can see quite clearly uh, remember in functional block diagram all the logics are in block and uh, the inputs, outputs, uh, the buttons are all on the nodes or in the connection you can see. So I will go ahead and name this as start and even I will need a AND gate going to the FFB assistance type just AND say OK and you can place in here OK here and I need to feed the output to the input 1 of the AND gate so simply go into this link and just link this it, it this way so and I will name the output to be motor 1 and as my stop button was normally close contact, I need to invert it or negation. So I will take the toggle pin negation and just put in here and name this button as stop. And this is my motor one again for providing the latching. And then I require a timer, same go into the FFP, type DON, don, place in here, connect the motor to the timer, motor 1 to the timer, and the output will be motor 2, 2. And the time is set on the PT, just go in here, double click it and say time, doesn't matter, so it's not case sensitive, so T can be capital. Then that mention the time, 5S for seconds. Yeah, I am done with the program. So you need to understand the logic or logic does stand for either of the input is high then it will be providing a high output that is if start or this is high as the name suggests it will be high and and again as the name suggests this and this should be high for this to conduct or you can say to be output to be high so let's go ahead and test this program so you will get to know the logic behind it so go into the build rebuild all project say yes go into the plc connect again plc transfer the project to plc and in order to run the program go up in here in run and say okay so my program is running let's try and setting the value to one if i'm pressing the start button highlight it set it value to one so my motor one start immediately my motor to Two, takes a five seconds delay to start in here and see it started now um, I, I will lift my finger from the start button set it value to zero uh, and let's see the operation of the stop button set it value to one uh, by mo both the motor starts immediately uh, stops immediately and again set it value to zero so the best way to learn is to simulate it uh, Set it value to 1, 0, play with it, and then you will get to know the logic behind it. And now let's establish the analogy between the two languages. So 
let's go ahead and arrange the windows so you can see properly mm -hmm. okay so now you will see the OR gate does signifies a parallel connection in a ladder diagram remember this analogy is not in is not uh, required if you are getting the program individually then it's well and good otherwise if you are not getting then do follow this thing so start I have put I would have put uh, I could have put a motor in here and simply a motor in here and it will be the same thing so the parallel connection are the or that is if the current flows to this or this doesn't matters it will reach me uh, and and is like this and this both should be conducting for current to reach the coil so and analogy so in short we can say a series is nothing but a and in fpd and parallel in ladder diagram is or in fpd so if you find it this confusing don't get this thing just follow the language individually you will get through uh, keep learning, have fun, have a nice day ahead.